Hi, it's Rene Roth, your online natural therapist, coming to you live. I want to share with you a couple of my experiences from practice and what I see most frequently. And number one is often stress. But what is the consequence of being stressed chronically? And it's our inability to adapt. So stresses can come in all different shapes and forms. And they can be psychological, it can be physiological responses. But what we often find is when the body is under a duress for a period in time, because essentially we're looking at, at homeostasis, where there's an incident, your body might deal with that short term, the fear, fright, flight uh, scenario of adrenaline and cortisol production, but then the system adapts and, and gets to a, a level playing field again. But what happens when we're exposed to long-term stress? And that might be in the workforce, it could be home, it could be parenting, it could be relationship issues, it could be chemical stresses, the list goes on and on. So when this load of stress becomes insurmountable, the body does crumble under the impact of that. So what we're finding when the body is stressed, we're pumping out all this cortisol and other hormones and neurotransmitters as well. But when we have all this production of cortisol, one tends to put on weight. So that's a whole sequence of issues. What also happens is the immune system gets compromised. And so that could be at an acute level of recurrent colds and coughs and infections and so forth, the influenza. But also the chronic stress and impact on the system and the cortisol production can relate to then not just the acute immune issues, but more the chronic immune issues. So the autoimmune disease, and they're actually, when we look at cancer now, they're using more immunotherapy to help manage cancer cases. So we do understand that cancer in some cases could be uh, an impact of a, a poor immune system. The body is not resourced well enough to defend itself because we're also told that we're producing aberrant, malignant, rogue cells all the time. And it's a robust immune system that is able to kill off those cells and restore health and well-being. But that's another whole topic in itself. But basically, so when we've got this chronic stress in our body, we've got all this cortisol being produced, we end up with what often can be referred to as a non-clinical term, but adrenal exhaustion. So you can see the cascade that a lot of people are subject to when they're exposed to long-term stresses uh, and, and the consequence of fatigue, the consequence of adrenal exhaustion, and a compromised immune system. So what if there was a really simple solution to some of those things? And obviously it's about managing the stress. It's about looking to get support from your healthcare practitioner, support from your network, your community, your church, or wherever that may be. Your, uh, it's about uh, engaging in sport and activity because all those natural endorphins that get released when we're exercising has a great benefit. Make sure that you're well hydrated. Make sure that you're having a really good diet, which is predominantly alkaline and whole foods based and, and minimal processed foods and, and so forth. But what we're looking at is perhaps a therapeutic intervention. And I use a product called Wellbeing in my practice, and this has stood the test of time. It's a revered ancient Chinese formulation, which consists of about six different herbs. And I'm gonna run through each one of them just really, really briefly, just to give you an insight of what some of these um, ingredients are, but also the collective benefits. So we talk about the synergy. So when you hear uh, a few snippets on each of these products, you'll see the benefit of, of the, this product as a collective. So astragalus, and if there's a couple of words which were to, I, I suppose, identify astragalus would be immune support. And it's more the chronic immune support. So it's the autoimmune diseases, the, the lupus, the rheumatoid arthritis, the chronic infections that people are prone to. And it's been used for centuries but it's also really good at supporting fatigue issues. So that might be just general tiredness and fatigue, but it could also be to the point of anemia. Again, one needs to look at the iron content in their diet, but it might be like the adrenal fatigue or the chronic fatigue, but it's also some really good evidence about allergies, uh, fibromyalgia, diabetes, and other chronic diseases. So that's a little snapshot for you, astragalus. Our next one is the withiania, which is ashwagandha, which actually is a also known as Indian... Jingseng, it's an ancient Sanskrit word, means horse's um, odour or horse's sweat. Uh, apparently when you cut the rhizome, it smells like horse's sweat. If you've ever been up close to a horse, well, there we go. But also this is particularly known as an immune booster. It's an ancient Ayurvedic herb, so it also supports anxiety, depression, vitality, fertility. Uh, it's a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. 
Next we have Siberian ginseng and we all know the benefit of the ginsengs and they have some common benefits, um, that whole family of ginseng, but definitely its ability to work as an adapt adaptogen is powerful. So this is where if something is overactive it will tone it down, if something is underactive it will tone it up as well. So particularly for fatigue, adrenal support, um, blood pressure, enhancing mood, a couple of key things that we have there for the Siberian ginseng. Next we have the Polygonatum uh, officinalum, which is Solomon seal. This is a great anti-inflammatory to work particularly at the immune system, um, at, like with their lungs, with inflammation there, but also at the joints as well. Uh, so inflammation is a key one, antioxidant. Next we have the Romania glutinosa, known as Chinese foxglove. So this is particularly supporting adrenals and kidney, and they, we know, are in close proximity. Uh, but also the autoimmune disease. Some studies have shown the benefits of Romania for uh, the autoimmune disease of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, MS, fibromyalgia, and so forth. And our last ingredient, but not by least by any means, is the goji berries. And we know this is very, very powerful in antioxidants. Uh, it contains carotenoids, lycopenes, lutins, vitamin C, it's, and, and because of that power, it's powerfully antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So six amazing herbs came out of the, the ancient Chinese tombs in, uh, in China, and so it's been revered for centuries. It, it's gaining popularity now as, as we through our, our networks are sharing the benefits of a product called Wellbeing to the community. So I suppose what we're looking for, and, and some people are, uh, can't, can't deal with a whole lot of tablets and solutions and potions and so forth. So this is a, a product which has a number of benefits all packaged into one. And there's you know a whole bunch of tablets in here, what's that, 240 or so. Uh, and you're going to be taking four tablets twice a day, they're only very small ones. So if you know people, or personally yourself may be suffering with energy issues, there's fatigue, there's also stress, there's compromised immune function, just to name a few, this is a really nice product that can support your energy, your well-being and your immune system. I certainly advocate all the lifestyle changes that go along with that. I definitely advocate the support of some core minerals and trace elements, some vitamins and essential fatty acids. Your probiotics are definitely going to help the, the bowel and the production of neurotransmitters, but also to support your immune health. So it is a combination of things to support your health and, and navigate your way through the, the life's challenges because it does throw us a few curveballs and certainly does challenge our ability to manage stress on a daily basis because of all the, the demands that the people that either are placed on us or that we choose to have placed on ourselves. So this is a great product. I've personally taken it from time to time and feel that benefit, that soothing benefit, that extra stamina and so forth. So even when I use that word stamina, there are, as for, for example, athletes who are under a lot of stress to perform. So when they're looking to in, in maximize their endurance and their performance on the field, a product like this can certainly support because we often see the overtraining issues and the, the elite athletes are, you know, don't want to peak at certain times and they're, they're anxious to perform well, they've got their own personal expectations, perhaps even their country's expectations on them and the immune system can get compromised in the infection. So yes, they might go to an acute product for the infections but long-term immune support long-term stress support and long-term fatigue support. This is a great product that's going to definitely uh, manage that more effectively. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of a, an insight in this product. Um, you're welcome to share this amongst your groups and so forth. Uh, a lot of people are using this product and I'm sure you can gain benefit from this. So feel free to connect with the person who provides this information. If you're looking to access the product and don't have a contact, certainly feel free to give me uh, a message uh, through Messenger or Facebook. Drop a six or an emoji in the comments if you found today's broadcast of benefit. Why six? Well, yes, we've just had Melbourne Cup Day. And was it six? I don't think that won the race. But anyway, there are six amazing ingredients in this product. So do access this product. Well-being, it's going to certainly enhance your well-being in life and living. So I hope you've gained some benefit today. Have an awesome day. We'll catch you next time. Cheers now.